Welcome to our next tutorial on macros where we're going to cover what's actually been recorded in the macro code. What we actually recorded is simply the VBA program interacting with the SolidWorks Application Programming Interface or API. Basically, when a macro makes a call, it accesses SolidWorks API functions. We're going to open the macro file in the VBA editor and take a look at the code so we can better understand what we've recorded. At the top, we see a number of declared variables. Next, we have an entry point to the application. The next line is where the connection to SolidWorks happens. The subsequent line, that's where the program gets the active document. The recorder virtually recorded every move we made. For example, here, to understand what this code does, you can review the name of the code. In this case, we have show named view 2. Let's talk about the number 2. SolidWorks has added functionality to the original code. Now, instead of using a completely new name, SolidWorks has just added the number 2 to the original code. We can delete these two lines. We can also delete Enable Contour Selection. Let's run our program again. Here we've got a second extrude which occupies the same space as extrude 1. I'd like to record one more macro now. I'm going to press record. Then I'll select the front plane, the top plane, and the right plane. Now press the left, right, up, and down arrows. Let's stop the macro recording and save. We're going to call this one Macro 2 Save. Now let's open Macro 2 in the VBA editor. As you can see, the syntax is fairly obvious. For example, the argument here, front, plane, top, plane, as well as view rotate minus y, view rotate plus y. The point I'm trying to make here, every action you take has an equivalent function in the SolidWorks API, which is reflected in the code that the macro recorder recorded for you. Now in this case, we don't need some of this code. Some of it is really nothing but junk code that isn't really necessary to run our macro. We can delete it or comment it out. This concludes our tutorial on what's been recorded.